All right, this is a instructor orientation uh, in Blackboard, and I'm going to take you through some of the instructor tools, including your edit mode, setting a theme, the uh, major parts to the course navigation, course banner, and the uh, course menu, and then we'll end up in the control panel, which is where the instructor uh, has access to some behind the scene tools. So the first thing you want to do when you're in a course, if you have instructor access, you'll be able to turn edit mode um, on. And then you'll see a green light. And then one of the things you can do is select a, a different theme for your course. Now, um, you can spend a lot of time on this, but um, there's, some, there's some neat themes in there. Uh, discipline specific, different color themes, seasons. Uh, one thing I'd say though is um, set that color or theme before you start your class so that you're not um, changing it frequently because then students get confused about what the course looks like. And the other thing is if you make some custom changes to your menu colors and things like that, if you override it with one of these themes it will it'll change that. So um, this main area here is your announcements area, and uh, one of the things you can do to uh, spice up your course is add a course banner. And that you do through the control panel. The control panel is the kind of the behind the scenes area that instructors have access to. And in order to add a banner, you click on customization, and the menu drops down, and uh, you can go into your uh, teaching style. And then you can also set your um, course structure here, your course entry point, which I recommend that you leave on announcements, your theme, just like you could set it from the top of the uh, course, you can also set it here, the color of your menu, whether it's buttons or, or text, and um, down here, under number seven, it says select banner. So you can upload an image, and it'll take various size of images, but don't make it too wide, or it'll cause you to have to scroll uh, scroll left or right. Uh, and don't make it too tall, or it'll push all your announcements down, so it'll be difficult to read. So basically, you browse to your computer, find the file, attach it, and submit, and that's how you add a course banner to the top. You'll see it when you go back to the announcements area. Now over on the left is the course menu, and one thing you want to take a look at is this um, plus icon up here. When you mouse over that, you'll get a drop-down menu, and m most of these things in the menu are um, content areas, but some of them are actually course tools. So if you want to create a new empty area, you use the content area button, and you can call it whatever you want. So for example, let's say I wanted to add um, a syllabus area, I could just go here, create a content area, call it syllabus, and then you want to make sure that you make it available to users if you want them to see, and sure would want somebody to see the syllabus link, and then you submit it. Now one of the things you can do is reorder these, so if you don't like it, you just come over here, mouse uh, over this and then left click and drag you can reorder them or you can also reorder things uh, announcements course menu by clicking this up and down arrow and then moving them up or down so you can move them that way um, announcements is a course tool um, leave it at the top leave it alone don't edit it don't remove it because that will cause problems when students enter your course um, assignments is a content area and now I can go in there's a menu to the right of these links and rename it so say for example I wanted to call this modules and then you just click the check mark in order to save that change uh, you can also delete it but be very careful about deleting it if I deleted this right now I'd basically delete all the content in the um, certification course 
uh, or I can hide it. So when I hide a link, I get a little um, icon beside it that says that students can't see that. So this would be probably not the assignments area, but, but perhaps there's some area I want to reveal later on in the course. So I'm going to go back into the menu and, and show it. Now, sometimes you'll get a little box beside uh, some content areas. Like initially, the assignment area had a box beside it, and that meant that there was no content in it, and, and students wouldn't be able to, to navigate into it. Uh, the discussions link is a, is a uh, tool link to the discussion board. So if for some reason you removed that, you went in and you deleted that area, you can go to uh, the plus um, up here, and then you can um, create a tool link and select discussion board, call it whatever you want, discussions in our case, and then uh, make it available and submit. And then that way you would have um, you're just uh, another link to the discussion board. Grades is a tool, and that is an area you, you really want to leave alone. It's um, only accessible by students. You don't ac you access the grades actually down in the control panel through the Grade Center. Uh, resources is a, is a default area when a new course is created. Um, you could call it whatever you want. You could call it external links or anything else. Now. Um, what we did is we created this content area called resources and then clicked on the link and you go within that and then we added uh, a series of folders and we did that by going to build content and creating content folders so we organized the resources in the course by major topic areas inside of these folders so those are tool links and content area links and then this right here is a uh, divider. So if you go up here to the top and click divider, you'll get basically a horizontal rule. And then you can do subheaders, which is just text. So course information, contact information, those two are uh, just uh, subheaders. And then you can um, do some other things. Like you can, instead of creating a tool link, you can actually go to a course link so if you select course link you can browse to any area you want to in the course so when a student clicks on that navigation link in the menu it'll take them um, to wherever you want them to go so you know in this case I created a link to all instructor users and I just called it gbrand at grcc.edu so it looks like an email link but when you um, submit it students click on that link it actually takes them uh, instead of launching their default email if it even does that this actually takes them directly to where they would need to um, email you and they put in a subject message and then when it's sent it actually identifies what course it's coming from so that's pretty much how you uh, set up a menu, reorganize it, rename things, delete it using um, uh, the different tools. You can also create a web link, which would actually uh, cause a menu item over here that when you click on it would launch um, by default in a new window and take you somewhere else. So, if, for example, you had a publisher's website you wanted to link out to. Uh, so that's the course menu. And we've talked about the uh, access to the Grade Center and uh, some basics about the customization tool. Um, these other tools you can explore uh, in any course you have instructor access to, but these are not uh, available to students. So you, if you refer to them in any of your instructions, they won't be able to see them.